Hi, and welcome to Magic at Windsor Court in Cincinnati, Ohio. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul Ketterer, and today we're going to take a few moments and talk about creativity. Now, creativity is vital in the world of magic. Whether we are creating a new prop, a new process, or a new story, today, we're going to examine just one example of changing an old prop into a new one and some of the many, many, many benefits that go with that. This safe, this bank, at one time was just a basic red box using black art. It was a production box. I bought it at an auction a number of years ago with the intention of using it to produce a bunny rabbit. Well, that never happened. After a few days of playing with it, I set it on the shelf. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, it just sat there gathering dust. So, just using a little creativity in around seven or eight dollars, I was able to change, update, and improve an old red production box using black art into a new wonderful utility box that looks just like a safe, just like a bank. Just using a little bit of spray paint, grape spray paint, a piece of old hardware that I cut off the bottom part that makes it look like a handle, and an old combination lock that had a red tumbler on it. And it makes it look just like a safe. Now, it's no longer just a basic production box, but a well camouflaged switching box. A switching box that has so many more things that I can do with it. So now, let's talk about some of just the many, many different ways that this switching box can now be used. It's a bank. So what do you normally put into the bank? Well, there's a variety of things. One thing such as money. We can put money into the bank. And at that point, you can say to the audience, now normally a safe does not have a door like this, but so that you can see into it at all times, we'll keep these doors open. So let's talk about some of the different types of switches you can use in, the bank, in, in, a, in a box that's been converted to a bank. You can put in money, or you can put in a check, for example. Those are the type of things you would put in a bank. You could also put in some coins. They can go in. You could also store your credit card in the, in the bank. And you could have them change into maybe gold. You could take some rocks and paint them gold color, put a little sparkle to them. You could possibly have a lot of money, stage money or whatever, uh, spring-loaded, whatever the case may be, it changes into a whole box of money. And you can say, you know, you put your money in the bank and look at all the interest you get. And we all know how big of a lie that is. I wish we could get a lot of interest on our money. So anyway, the concept is you put money into the bank, you put something into the bank, and it changes into different things that uh, you are creative about. Let's talk about some other things. Maybe you put important papers into the bank, for, for example, into the safe. For example, uh, an important paper would be wills. You find out that you're out of the will, voila, now you're back into the will. It changes, it, you can change it and have a lot of fun with that if, the, if it's the appropriate audience. What about photos? You could put a photo of a treasured object or some object, put a photo in and have the change into the actual, have the photo change into the real thing. I'm just giving you some different ideas that this switch box can now do for, do for me. And if you took a box of your own and made like, something like that, it could do it for you as well. Uh, passwords. You put passwords into a safe. Maybe they uh, go in, you have little uh, index cards with all of these fake passwords on or whatever. Put them in and you don't even have to close the door. You lift the lid and say, well, if somebody broke into the safe, I have a double layer of protection. 
and all the cards go blank. Or vice versa, put blank cards in and now all the blank, uh, blanks have new passwords on or something to that effect. So you see anything that would normally go into the safe, you can change it and have a lot of fun with it. And one last idea I wanted to share with you is maybe groceries. Maybe you put, if you wanted to buy groceries and instead of making your box into a safe, you could change your production box into a switch box that would look like an Amazon box, for example. And if you wanted to um, put the credit card in, whatever the case may be, and you wanted groceries or whatever, you could use an Amazon box and people would relate to that. Oh, let, getting back to this one other idea I had, you can also use this as a forcing box. Real easy. Have, for example, use jumbo cards. Have a bunch of jumbo cards face down on the table. Ask somebody to go over and pull one out, put it into the envelope without looking at it. Put it in here. You have the forced jumbo card on the top layer of this. And you're ready to go. Nobody knows what card they pulled out, not even themselves. So you announce the forced card. When they go to lift the lid, then it switches it. It could be used as a force. Uh, forcing box as well. Getting back to the concept of the box here, an Amazon box, watch this. Put in the money, put in the money, and all you have to do is lift the lid and now we have lots of groceries. And the punchline or the end line is if you think the one day Amazon delivery date is great, watch how fast my magic is. So there's lots and lots of things you can be creative with in your magic. And let's take some of these out here to show you how well this looks. Looks like a Big Mac, cake, so lots and lots of production. And actually, these are all solid plastic, so had they been softer or whatever, you could even make the, the production bigger. So use your creativity. Now, there are so many different ways to be creative. I cannot begin to cover all of them. But let's just talk about a few more ideas. This setup gives me the perfect opportunity to use a volunteer. And if you're lucky, and if you use a volunteer correctly, you can have a blast, and the audience will have a blast. But never, never at their expense. Make sure that they are respected, but you can have a lot of fun by having a volunteer. Typically, I would have a chair sitting here and bring somebody up and let them play the role of a security guard. I put the safe on their lap and open the doors and go from there. The next thing is to put a cap on the volunteer, especially if it's a man. If it's a woman, you have to be extremely careful. But if it's a man, the crazier the cap, the better. A, a, a hat, you know, a, a, some type of hat that a security guard would wear, but a goofy crazy hat really gets a lot of laughs. Maybe they're not wearing glasses and you have the use of a combination lock here and you can do a glass routine, maybe glasses with no glass or something like that. Or you can really get a laugh by using a giant magnifying glass. Let them look at it through a magnifying. The bigger, the better. So there's so many different gags you can get when you bring a volunteer up and run with something like this. Maybe a billy club and use all of the or some of the different techniques that you would use on a magic wand. Convert those ideas to the use of a billy club or handcuffs. Maybe there's something you can do with handcuffs, especially if you're going to do some type of escape routine later. And the last idea was maybe a badge. Maybe the uh, uh, security guard needs to have a badge. Now if it's a woman, and if the audience is the right audience, if it's an appropriate type of audience, you can have a blast with this one. Think of this, if you have a badge and you're going to pin the badge onto the woman, and as you get close, all of a sudden you realize how awkward it is for you to be pinning a badge onto the woman. So you go and you stop about two feet from her, and then you look out the audience, and you look back at her, and then you look back at the audience, and then you look back at her, and eventually you will have the audience roaring in the aisle. What a wonderful opportunity there if it's done right and with respect. One last idea too is when you're finished with the volunteer, 
thank the volunteer and uh, as you start to send that volunteer back to the audience, you can say, oh, as a security guard, I have a special thank you for, thank you for helping me, but I have a special gift for you. Hand them a box of Dunkin' Donuts, something to that effect, and say something like, here, this will save you a little time so you don't have to stop on the way home. Now, we could go on and on and on and on about creativity, but we'll stop here. We'll conclude here. So in conclusion, what better time than now to look over your stockpile, and I do mean stockpile, of your magic props and treasures, and use your creativity to convert something old and not being used into something new and useful. And if you do, I know you will have lots and lots of fun. I know, and, and it'll put a smile on your face, I know. But the real trick, the real trick is to use your amazing talents and skills and your incredible creativity to put a smile on someone else's face. Because that, my friends, is the real magic. Thanks for watching.